Hello everyone, and welcome back. We're back tonight with more of The Legend of Heroes, Trails in the Sky. And we're about to... Sorry about that. We're about to participate in the next round of the of the martial arts competition, so may the best team win. Let's begin. Master Zen, welcome to the Grand Arena. Please note that tournament participants are asked to remain within the arena's walls until the end of the day's matches. Have you made all the necessary preparations for a day of hot, hot action? Uh, are we healed up? Let me see. That's all I'm worried about. Yep, we're all good. Excellent! Excellent! Your waiting room is the blue team room, just inside the hall on the right. Fight well. Okay, let's see how this goes. Oh, there you are! Okay, it was Dorothy. Hi, Dorothy! Short time no see. Seeing as how we only just saw each other in Zeus. Yeah, I know. I never dreamed we'd meet again in this life. I mean, since you got in so much trouble after you boarded that factory ship. So much trouble? Well, well, this bears investigation. Whoa, whoa, wait, Dorothy, can we maybe save that conversation for later? Huh? Anyway, I was gonna say, your friends here look kind of familiar. I seem to recall encountering you once in the city of Bose. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance once more, my uniquely charming lady. We passed by each other near the hot, near the hot spring. Oh, I remember now. It's a drink and run guy in the bear in the bear and eastern clothing. So, Estelle, are you and Joshua fighting alongside these two in the competition? Yep, that's right. We're on Zen's team. The bear in Eastern clothing, as you put it. So, what about you? Are you covering the event for the newspaper? Well, until yesterday, I was working on another story. Niall told me this morning that I should check out the martial arts competition to see you guys. You're as strong as he said you were. This is gonna make for some great pictures. <laughs> I hope so. Oh, yeah, isn't Niall with you? Nah, I guess he had something important to check up on. I think he was up all, all last night, wrestling with a bunch of papers or something. He told me today that he was going to talk to an old acquaintance. I see. Oh, and he wanted me to pass a message on to you. He wants you to come by the editorial department this evening. Whatever it is, he made it sound serious. Mm, okay. We'll go after today's matches. I feel like we're going to wish we could have gone before. Oh well. Oh, serious conversation, my old nemesis. Well, don't let it get you down. Grrr, meow. What are you, Olivia? What? Oh, would you stop? It doesn't even have, doesn't even have anything to do with you. How very cool, Estelle. And after all passions burned so strongly together just yesterday. Am I merely refuse to be discarded when circumstance affords me no immediate use? Would you please stop talking like that? Wow, Estelle, I had no idea. Isn't he a little old for you, though? He's talking about the tournament, but you're better off just ignoring everything he says either way. I'm gonna go ahead and fi find a good seat so I can get the best shots. I'll be rooting for you guys. Good luck. I want to turn your flash off. <laughs> She's quite the unique sort of girl, isn't she? Uh, between her and Olivia, I just Olivia, I just get so drained. That just means you're relieving your stress before the match. She is a pretty skilled photographer, at least. 
most of the photographs that have been published in the Libral News lately have were taken by her. Hmm, impressive. In that case, we'll have to make sure one that our fight is one worth taking pictures of. Hey, yeah, no kidding. I don't know who we're facing, but we need to get psyched. Okay, now let's head to the waiting room. Ugh, they're late. The match is due to start soon. So where's the other team? It is kind of strange. Maybe something's holding them up, or... Come on, get a move on! We're moving, we're moving! Quit rushing us, alright? Ugh, why do things have to turn off like this? Come on, bro! Come on, bro! Don't be getting all sad on us now. We need to keep our spirits up in case we end up fighting them today. Uh-oh, uh, oh, okay. But... You! So was your team? Huh, I should've known that wouldn't show up in a timely fashion. Huh, <laughs> guess it won't be fighting you lot today after all. Huh, <laughs> looks like you got lucky this time. I'd been hoping we'd get, him, get matched up with you, so we could give the She-Man there a lesson. No, you did not! Hey, no idle chatter! Or did you forget that it's only by His Grace's generosity that you're even in this competition? Come now, soldier, you don't need to worry about this. Have we not been well behaved so far? And I just hope you decide to keep that up until you go back to jail. Don't even talk to them. You don't make any trouble and we won't make trouble for you. I don't think there'll be a problem. They want to clobber us tomorrow after all. I think you know this, but there's a full company of soldiers here on security detail. Don't even think imagine don't even start imagining that you have any chance of escaping. We know already we're not idiots. Huh, <laughs> you guys are a real eyesore. So why don't you just go already? You little Don't let this kid provoke you. Just don't try any funny business. Hey, what's going on? How'd you guys wind up in the martial arts competition? Is it really because Duke Dunon allowed it? Yeah, it seems that way. He supposedly called for us specifically to participate. The better we do, the lighter our sentence gets. you you've got to be kidding me. Hmm, that's a little strange for a constitutional monarchy. Ha ha ha, it seems the Duke is a mischievous sort. Well, you won't see us complaining. I'd rather work off my sins than spend it in prison. But then, that's not the only reason. What's that supposed to mean? Ah, oh, shut it! It ain't any of your business anyway! It matters to us! So, if you're not here to fight us, then are you here to take on the special ops soldiers? What? How? Damn straight we are! They were supposed to be our allies and they screwed us over! They used us to help expand the intelligence division's influence, then toss us aside. We're idiots, plain and simple. We got double-crossed. And that really sucks. Yeah, I suppose so. Come to think of it, I even feel kind of bad for you guys. Listen, we don't want your damn pity. You owe us, and don't you forget it. Huh? What do you mean by that? <laughs> don't you remember the last time we met? It'd be a bad thing if you know who found out that you snuck into Layston Fortress, right? Uh oh. We don't like those jerks too much either, so we didn't say anything about you. Ha <laughs> You ought to thank us. Indeed. Thank you for keeping it to yourselves. This certainly sounds interesting. I'd love to hear more. You hush! It was nothing! Oops. I hate to interrupt, but I think we're starting shortly. We must apologize to everyone for the long wait. We now open the second day of the martial arts competition. Let's start up by announcing the fight card for the fifth match. Southside Blue Team from the Calvert Republic, captained by Martial Arts Master Zen. Northside Red Team from the Bracer Guild, Gransel Branch Kurtz Team. Here we go! We're gonna actually be fighting against Karna's crew. This won't be easy. We need to make sure that we don't get in Zen's way. 
No need to be so cautious. Your assistance will be just as good as any full-fledged bracers. All we need to do is focus on winning. Right. We'll do our best. Huh. Let us be off. To glory! Yeah, but I'm with... I'm with Joshua, though. This is gonna be a tough fight. <laughs> or at least I expect it to be. Alright, let's go. Hey guys, so you made it. Hi, you rookies! Haha, <laughs> hi you two! We gave as good as we got. Send the immovable. Always wanted to go up against you, at least once. What do you say we see if any if my sword can match up to your skill? Haha, <laughs> fine by me, but just to warn you, I'm not big on pulling my punches. Haha, <laughs> I was hoping to fight in the final round. I guess we'll see who fate favors today. On one hand, you have an advanced group of veteran braces. On the other hand, a talented group of novice braces and one genius performing musician. I imagine even Adios herself might have difficulty at guessing the outcome. We now begin the fifth match of the No Holds Barred Tournament. Both teams, go to your starting places. Take your positions! Begin! Alright, let's see.
Well, now I know who I probably really need to take out first. There we go. Oh, come on! Okay, I need to get rid of both of them, apparently. Okay, that was good.
Okay, since I presumably took out both the healers, um, who should I take out next? Yeah, let's go for her. For him. Well, that was a challenging fight, but we managed to pull it off. KO! Winner is Sense Team! Good. Good. Nicely done. I never thought that Zen the Immovable was really that capable. You guys are no slouches yourselves. I don't think I'd have won if not for the others backing me up. <sighs> did... Did we win? Yeah. Not sure how, though. <laughs> oh, don't be so modest. You may have had sin with you, but you each pulled your own weight. You, I knew finding share of students was going to be tough. <laughs> but I had no idea the black-haired kid would be such a tough cookie. I figured that this girl was going to put me to sleep. Perhaps later we can discuss each other's strengths over a glass of wine. I'll give it a rest. Well, well, not bad at all. No kidding, that was a pretty exciting match. <laughs> I suppose it wasn't too bad. Haha, <laughs> why thank you. Uh, so, what's the deal? Why are you guys congratulating us? Got a fever or something? Well, we're not congratulating you, you little punk! It's just that it would be annoying to lose so easily to the group that drove us up a wall. <sighs> you got a snappy comeback for everything, don't you? Come on, Estelle. Thank you very much. I know a lot's happened between us, and still you cheered us on. We appreciate it. What? I'm just trying to tell you- I I'm trying to tell you that we're not cheering you on! Hmm? Next up is the sixth match. Southside Blue Team, the Sky K Bandits, aka the Kapua family, captained by Don Kapua. Northside Red Team for the Royal Army Intelligence Division, captained by Second Lieutenant Lawrence. Oh boy. Alright, it's finally time. Time to teach those sneaky assholes a lesson. Maybe this is how it was destined to play out. Our fingers are crossed for you. Good luck! Watch out for their commanding officer. 
Keep him pinned down and you'll have a fine chance. Uh, okay. I mean, uh, shut up! It's not your business anyway! <laughs> Yo, little Mr. Mast Avenger! I've been waiting for a chance to pay back what I owe you. <laughs> yeah, we really ought to thank the Duke for this chance. Haha. <laughs> well, that's so damn funny! Your orphans are the Coppola family, one of Erebonia's ruined noble families. Oh, uh, what? You lost your territory to corrupt merchant and only survived by taking air piracy. I was just thinking about what a touching story that is. Wh what the hell? How do you know about that? Did you forget that we're part of the intelligence division? You'd better be a you're be better off quit abandoning your little quest for revenge and just serving your time quietly. It does seem that you're trying to go straight at least. You what? You sure do love to run your mouth, don't you? Time for you to taste a few orbital powered bullets. We now begin the sixth match of the No Holds Bar tournament. Both teams go to your starting places. Take your positions. Begin. Preliminaries match six. Oh boy, just one to go. I was hoping they would at least take out the other three soldiers. Oh well. KO! Winner is Lawrence's team! They were doing pretty well at first. It all fell apart when the fellow in yeah, red, started in on them though. Hmm. Definitely not an opponent to be trifled with. I don't think he was even trying as hard as he could. I can't get a decent read on his real strength. Please tell me you're joking. No, I think it's the truth. That last technique just didn't feel like it was even all that focused. He's still got plenty we haven't seen yet. Th that's just crazy! Uh, I'm sorry, you guys. Don't try to cheer us up, please. We got slaughtered out there. Damn it! If my support techniques, tactics weren't so worthless! It wasn't your fault! I'm the one who wasted all that energy on attacks that didn't do anything! Well, hey, sometimes it comes down to more than just who's stronger. We're gonna get him back for you when we find him tomorrow. What? <laughs> you make it sound so simple. I'm not fond of promising when I'm not sure I can deliver. A battle has to be won in the mind before it can be won in the flesh. What a fine saying. 
Tis as a few in the cell speak of the same mind, but you, sir, with a more golden tongue. Hmm, <laughs> looks like you're finally done! Alright, no hanging about. Back to the docks with you. You gotta be kidding. We just got done fighting. Can't you give us a few more min few minutes to rest? You know, for hardened criminals, you sure act like spoiled brats. Now come on, get moving. Bleh. I'm so worn out. Hey, bracer jerks. What? Uh, we aren't gonna be here tomorrow. But you damn well better win! If you let those assholes beat you, then you're gonna have hell to pay! Uh, of course they're gonna win! Who do you think you're talking to here? We'll win. I swear it. Are you done? No stalling! Received 40,000 Mira cash prize. Ew. I don't know how we did it, but we did it. Tomorrow's the final match. We're really going to have to keep our spirits up, because that's going to be one tough match. So I propose that we go to the bar and let it all hang out, so to speak. Huh. <laughs> like the way you think, good sir. I should like to join you. So this is adult logic. We got some stuff we have to do, so not tonight for us, I think. No problem. See you later, then. We'll meet up with, with you tomorrow morning out front. Good night, my sweethearts. Now, let's see. I bet Niall's waiting for us. So, why don't we go to the library news service and see what he has to say? Yeah. Hopefully, he's around. He managed to learn something useful about those intelligence division members. Alright. Um. Liberal news. That's in. That's in the west block, isn't it? Close to where those sewers were. Okay, no new quest yet, but I'll check again after this, or... Well, yeah, after this. in the west block did I misremember? Did I remember wrong? No, okay, here we go. It's somewhere around here. Yeah, here we go. Pardon us. Hey, you're here. Amazing. Dorothy actually got the message to you guys and didn't screw it up. Well, miracles never cease. So, I hear you won your match today. Dorothy was in an absurdly cheerful mood when she got back from it. Haha, <laughs> cool. Niall, about what we discussed earlier. Straight to business, I see. Take a look. Got some background on those big shots. Niall held out a black file folder. Is this from the Royal Army? Yeah, nothing super secret, but I was able to get out some documents. 
Let's just say they're on loan from some of my army contacts, but keep that under your hat, okay? Absolutely. Well, let's go ahead and read here. Estelle and Joshua open the black folder. Colonel Richard. Colonel Alan Richard. Born 1168 in the Rouen region of Libero. Graduated head of his class from the military academy, later assigned to the mobile task force led by Cassius Bright. 1192. Recognized for distinguished service under Cassius Bright in the Hundred Days War. Appointed to staff of the Military Operations Office after Colonel Bright's retirement. 1201. Suggested formation of Intelligence Division. Queen Alicia approves the request and appoints him as the first commander of the new branch. Wow, pretty impressive. Well, he is the man in charge. He always seemed to be pretty sharp. Looks like Major Sid was right about him serving under Dad ten years ago. So Dad really was a colonel. I wonder why he retired. I mean, he had respect and fame and all that. Okay, Captain Amalthea. Captain Canone Al... Canone Amalthea. <laughs> Born 1175 in Liberal's capital city of Gransel. Her excellent grades at the... Her excellent grades at the military academy earned her a place on the staff of the military operations office shortly after graduation. 1201. Reassigned to the newly formed intelligence division on Colonel Richard's recommendation. Later appointed as Colonel Richard's aide-de-camp. Assisting directly with military operational command. Excellent grades again. Another intellectual big shot, looks like. That appointment means that she's been working for Colonel Richard for a long time. No wonder she's so loyal to him. Okay, and last, but definitely not least... Second Lieutenant Lawrence. Second Lieutenant Lawrence Belgar. Belgar. Age and nationality unknown. A member of Jester? Who was invited by Colonel Richard to join the Intelligence Division. Previous activities unknown. He's been in disguise all along. He's knowing from my barrel. And what's up with his old job as a mercenary being one big blank spot? I don't know. Jaeger Corps. Ah. Jaeger Corps are known as the best. I didn't misread something, did I? Anyway, Jaeger Corps are known as the best mercenaries in the business for good reason. No kidding? So maybe the Colonel was just looking for a really skilled fighter? It's a possibility. And I think I've heard of this jester. Okay, good. I didn't misread that. And I think I've heard of this jester somewhere before. Well, yep, I guess that's it. Thanks for this, Niall. At least we know a little more about who we're dealing with. As long as it's useful. I've learned a few juicy d tidbits while I was digging around, too. Juicy tidbits? For example, First Lieutenant Julius Schwartz, the Royal Guardsman, currently wanted for question, was in the Academy the same year as Captain Amalthea. Really, now? They never gave us the impression that they got along all that well. Maybe because they were Academy rivals. Canon's got the brains, and Julia's got the combat skills. Pretty big difference there. Oh, I see. I'd imagine so. Looks like Julia's always been the super serious knightly type, huh? Next up, and this has nothing to do with the military, mind you. You kids know about Princess Claudia, right? Princess Claudia. Sounds familiar. If memory serves, she was orphaned when the crown prince and his wife died. She's the granddaughter of Her Majesty Queen Alicia. Right. She's not well known, but she's the direct descendant of the queen. From what I could dig up, she lives in the royal keep and pretty much stays there most of the time. And it seems someone's been looking for prospective marriage candidates for her. Huh. That's not super unusual for rich families, but still, just gross. That's not the point. The issue here is, who is this someone? Haha, <laughs> spot on, kid. It could be... Charlie. 
not do Dune on. Uh, let me see. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> oh wait, hold on, that's not it. Hang on, I skipped ahead. I'm, I'm not at where I'm looking for yet. Okay, yeah, I still called it right. Yep, it's Colonel Richard. <laughs> Why Queen Alicia? <laughs> what the fuck? But yeah, I figured it probably wouldn't be Duke Dunon since um, he's yeah he's the queen's nephew, isn't he? So yeah, it has to be Colonel Richard. Hey, not bad, kid. It is Colonel Richard who's been scouring foreign countries for a suitable candidate. Looks like. I knew it. But isn't that kind of weird? Why would he even be involved in setting up an arranged marriage? Pretty instant, ain't it? And now, there's something I want from you two. Huh? You want us to win the tournament and get you some information at the dinner party, right? Is that about the long and short of it? Oh, okay. You're not shy about asking for stuff, are you? Huh. Hey, I got you information. It's called give and take, sweetheart. True, and it's been helpful. Oh, right. We'll let you know if we find anything out. Find out anything. That's what I like to hear. Though, if all goes well today, I might not even need to rely on you two. Uh, excuse me? Excuse me for a sec. What's that supposed to mean? Hello? No eyebrow news. Oh, it's you. I've been waiting for you to call in. What? Starting now? Okay, God. I'll meet you there. Well, what's going on? Sorry to cut and run on you, but I gotta go meet someone. Sounds like you're in for a late night. The sun's going down as it is. Hey, I'm a not owl anyways. I'm only up during the daytime while the crazy chick is being trained. But hey, no biggie. You kids can just kick back and relax while I'm out. Gotcha. Good luck with your work. You too. Don't screw up tomorrow's match. Well then, what should we do now? Guess you stop by the guild and then go back to the hotel. We ought to report in the info that Niall got for us. Fine by me. <laughs> yeah, I didn't mean to do that, though I probably will have to go there eventually. Estelle and Joshua, I offer my congratulations on advancing to the championship bout. 
It is a shame to hear of Kurt's loss, but I hear it was a very good match. Yeah, it was pretty intense. I high wouldn't go patting us on the back yet, though. We weren't better than Kurt, not by a salge. True, we just got lucky. We had Zen along with Olivier's guns and magic to cover for our mistakes. They're the only reason we have made it as far as we have. You two are very humble, of our quality these days. By the way, have you learned any more information? Well... Joshua explained the details of Niall's findings to El to Elnon. So, Second Lieutenant Lawrence is part of a Jaeger Corps. Or, more specifically, the Jaeger Corps is known in Jes as Jester. First, I've heard of that name definitely. I'll best look it up. I'd best look it up. Do the Guild and Jaeger Corps ever work together? Not at all. If anything, we consider one another to be business rivals. We make it our business not to interfere in matters of state, you see, whereas the Jaegers largely revel in such matters. They're often employed in bo border disputes and have some quite opposing viewpoints with us regarding the safety of the common man. Well, they don't sound very nice. So, I take it there's no chance of getting any information on this? I wouldn't say no chance. With a bit of cloak and dagger, I might be able to find the information you seek. It would take several days to gather the necessary intel, however, so you wouldn't have it before the championship. Is that... alright? Might as well guess it'll have to be. <laughs> championship, championship. This is that do with the competition. So, yeah, if you'd please. Oh, okay. Thank you, Elnon. Also, regarding the Colonel's hunt for Princess Claudia's future husband, we've uncovered a few morsels of information which may have some connection. Uh, okay. A member of the Imperial Royal Family will be arriving in Grand Cell during the Queen's birthday celebration. We don't know their name, but we do know this is the first time someone from the family has come to Libral since the war ten years ago, so this is, so this is fairly significant news. I see. You're right that it does seem connected with talk of Princess Claudia's marriage. I don't actually know a thing about the Imperial Royal Family. I mean, the only Imperial I've even met is Olivier. The Princess has just celebrated her 16th birthday. It seems much too early for her to be married. I suspect there may be politics at work here. Gee, you think? Whoa! 16? Jeez, we're only 16 ourselves! It is the appropriate age for a young lady to make her debut in high society. But unless we've reverted to a more repressed time, it is much, much too soon for marriage. Indeed, as I said, I suspect there is a political motive to this push for wedlock. And finding that motive will no doubt prove to be most valuable endeavor. Gotcha. If we learn more, if we can earn that invite to the castle, we'd be able to investigate much more easily. Then we need to secure a win in tomorrow's championship. Hmm. Hmm. As dangerous as this may be, I've got something for you. Here. Received Grand Cell Sewer Key B. Oh, what the heck is this to? The sewers. We always keep a few on hand at the Capital Branch. Never know when they might come in handy. This one should open one of the access grates near the Grand Arena. There are some pretty strong monsters living down there, so I figured it might make for a suitable training ground. Bring it! We could totally use the warm-up. And the CP. <laughs> Thank you, Elnon. I'm just doing my job. Make sure you don't head down there without some backup, though. If it's just the two of you, you're toast. No problem there. We'll head down down with Sin and... Ugh, Olivier. After we meet up with them tomorrow. Wow, it's late. You should probably get back to the hotel. Hey, you too! Huh? Oh, what's going on? We're on patrol. Nighttime patrols have been increased as part of the counterterrorism measures. So it's best to avoid going out after 9 o'clock if at all possible. You two should go on home. Uh, don't you think that's a little obnoxious? What if you need to go out after 9 o'clock? If the high- it's the higher-ups who makes the decisions, miss. 
Sorry to cause any trouble, but everyone has to abide by the rules. By the way, where is it you two live? We're staying at the hotel on the north block. We'll be there for the duration of the martial arts competition. Hmm. Hold on a second. I can swear I've seen you two somewhere before. Hey! Those kids are- these kids are in the tournament! No kidding. No kidding. Didn't Joshua just say that? <laughs> well, okay, he didn't, but still. You know, now that you mention it... Oh, were you guys in the audience? Haha. <laughs> well, we were on security detail. That match today was pretty incredible. Tomorrow's the championship, no? We'll escort you to the hotel so you can rest up for your big fight. Um... Very well, we accept. Um, uh, thanks for escorting us. We appreciate it. You gotta be kidding, we're big fans of yours. We're all in the same army, but I don't know. Those special op types, ops types just rub, us, rub me the wrong way for some reason. No kidding, I just don't get what goes through their heads. Don't you think talking like this is a little disrespectful of Colonel Richard, though? Well... Well, that's why we're putting so much faith in your participation. Good luck with tomorrow's match. <laughs> Thank you. We'll do everything we can. Phew. This is all kind of complicated, huh? I don't think those guys know a thing about the Colonel's plot. They seem to think the Intelligence Division are just regular soldiers. Whatever info comes down the chain of command, they accept as the truth. Hmm. Well, I'd hate to make enemies of them, since they're rooting for us and all. Regardless of anything else, It'd be wisest not to stir up trouble with the rank and file soldiers. What do you say we stay in our room for tonight and in our room tonight and just rest up? Okay. Yeah, I guess that's what we'll have to do. Quite a number of soldiers seem to be patrolling out there. And all our other guests who have gone back gone out have invariably been led right back in. You should get some rest for tomorrow's match. Keeping yourselves fit and ready for anything is an important part of being a bracer.
Oh, okay. Hmm? Huh? Wait, was that? Did you just hear something? Hmm. Be on alert when we go inside. Be ready for a fight if things don't look right. Huh? I think we got a trespasser. There might be explosives set, so be careful. Oh, wait! You're kidding, right? I need you to do exactly as I tell you. No questions. If you'd rather stay out here, that's fine with me. No way! I'm fine. Let's go inside. Uh, Alright. Oh. Looks like he got away. But that's strange. I don't get the sense that anyone's been in here. Nor does it look feel like there are any traps set. You can seriously tell that kind of thing? I guess this is all that was left behind. What? A letter? Joshua broke the seal on the letter. Tonight at the stroke of ten, come to the cathedral. Please, tell no one of this. And that's it? And what cathedral? That huge church over in the west block? It's already almost ten o'clock now. <sighs> well, it sure sounds suspicious. But nothing ventured, nothing gained. What do you think? Should we go for it? Absolutely not! Well, what was that for? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to yell. Look, didn't those soldiers just say that they were going to reinforce tonight's patrols? You can bet they'll be keeping a close watch on the West Block, too. Oh, right. Still, I hate to just pretend we never got it. I'll go by myself, then. Huh? It's easier for one person to stay hidden than two. I shouldn't have any real trouble going to get into the cathedral unnoticed. <sighs> Listen, if all I'm doing is scoping out the situation, I can handle it on my own. I just need you to stay here. Hey! Huh? I'm no less abrasive than you are. I can handle myself, and I won't slow you down. Your silver tongue's not gonna work on me this time. Estelle, that's not what I meant. I know it's not that you don't trust me. I can tell you're worried about me, or more that you're worried for me. What are you not telling me? How can you tell that I'm keeping something from you? I'm closer to you than just about anyone, Joshua. There's nothing you can keep me keep from me. Not for long, anyway. I'm impressed. Huh? Alright, if you want to come with me, I won't try to stop you. It's almost ten now, though, so we have to hurry. Oh, okay. But I want you to promise me something. If anything goes wrong, you do as exactly as I tell you. One wrong move could be fatal. Okay, I promise. Let's get a move on, then. Okay. Hope this isn't going to be another stealth mission. Uh, let's see. Where do I need to go? Uh, found a cathedral. To West Block Cathedral. Okay. Oh! It looks like they're patrolling. If any of the soldiers spot us, they'll we'll probably get led back to the hotel. We need to study their movements, take whatever chances we can to get past them undetected. Okay. Gosh dang it, not this again. Okay, I need to get to the west block, which is pretty much straight across. But I gotta watch for the soldiers. Okay, so going straight across won't work. Uh, great. Uh, let me think. There's not another way, though. Dang it, I knew it. Well, I don't know how the heck I'm supposed to get... I'm 
not sure how the heck I'm supposed to get over there then, because that was the only path. They can't see nearly as well at night, so as long as we don't approach them from the front, we should be able to get by them. The main thing will be to learn their patrol routes and stay out of their direct line of sight. Okay, let's give this a shot then. Now, let me... Do I need to take... Hmm. Yeah, I think I see what I need to do. But I still gotta figure out a way. Let's see, I need to go. I need to get through here. Shoot. Okay, let's see if I can get down here and one. Ah, uh, dang it. Ah! Okay, let me think here. I can't go that way because there's a soldier right there. Hmm. Can I get to the east block? Yeah, I can. Okay. Let's see... The south block... I'd have to go straight south, but maybe I can take... Let's see... Maybe I can take... Nope, I can't take that. Gosh darn it. Oh, come on! How was I even supposed to know there was a... Okay, I think I might have been on the right track with that by going out the east block. So I just gotta sort this out. So I just gotta figure it out. Hopefully I'm not losing BP this time. Okay, let me think here. can't go that way. Don't know if I can go straight south either, though. Hmm. Where's that? Ah! You know what? Hold up.
Well, I've already lost BP, but nothing I can do about it now. Because I haven't saved recently. <laughs> uh, let's see. <sighs> well, let's see what I can do then. Help, I can go this way now. I can go through this way now. Now, let's see. Okay, and I need to get to the west block. Soldier there. Hopefully, he didn't come down this way. Not sure how that worked out, but okay. <laughs> now let's see. The cathedral is up north. But maybe I should take the long way around. We made it! Stay focused, Estelle. I'll go in first. Stay close. Okay. I'm sorry, Estelle. I guess I misunderstood. Huh? Haha, <laughs> you came after all. You. Hey, aren't you the nun from before? The one who has attacked on the scenic route? Oh. Thank you for what you did back there. I assume you got my message? That letter was yours. But why would you do something so secretive like just to say thanks? Ah, oh, now I get it. It was her all along. Huh? <laughs> You're very observant, Joshua. Pardon me then. Allow me to get more comfortable. Oh! Okay, no, not who I thought it was. <laughs> okay. What? But this actually makes more sense, to be honest. Lieutenant Julia Swartz, commander of the Royal Guardsmen at your service. It's been a long time, you two. I knew you'd come. It's nice to see you again, Lieutenant. Last time was back in Ruan, right? Yes, it was. It hasn't been that long, but it feels like ages. Hey, hold on a second. Why are you in that getup? And why did you call us here? I'll answer your questions one at a time. First, the clothes. The Celtian Church has long and deep ties with the royal family. Colonel Leitcher's little conspiracy has us on the run, and they've helped him, and they've helped us stay hidden within the city. Oh, uh, okay. 
the answer to your other question, why I called you here. If you win the final match tomorrow, you'll get invited to that dinner party at the castle, right? What I need you to do is to get in touch with Her Majesty once you get inside. Ah! Mm -hmm. I realize that it's a selfish request, but since we're basically fugitives, there's no way for us to make contact. You're the only hope we have. Well then, uh, this is kind of unexpected. Actually, we're participating in the competition specifically in hopes of seeing the Queen anyway. What? Joshua explained the request that Professor Russell gave them during the Layston Fortress incident. Really no. Almighty Edios, thank you for your gift most secret. In that case, I have only one favor to ask of you. When you speak to Her Majesty, heed her counsel. Of course, that was the plan from the get-go. The non-involvement rule still applies, even in a situation like this. But we'll do everything we can. I'm grateful. Please, take this with you. Receive Julia's letter. What's this? Give this to the headmaid Hilda, and she'll know what that you've spoken to me. Her Majesty is probably under very heavy guard by the special ops men. But you can trust Hilda. With her help, you may be able to speak with Her Majesty. Huh, so she sounds like a heck of a lady. Got it. We'll talk to her. Thank you very much. <laughs> Pathetic, isn't it? Eh? I was deceived and thereby failed the one I was supposed to protect at all costs. And this happened not long after I swore that I would give my life to safeguard Her Majesty from harm. You can't imagine how helpless I feel, having to depend entirely on another's help. You really shouldn't be so hard on yourself. I hate to say this, but there is the chance that we'll lose tomorrow's match. <laughs> I'm certain that will do just fine. That Calvardian martial artist is extremely skilled. And you are both the children of Colonel Cassius Bright. You mean you knew our- you knew our dad too? It's not without reason that he was known as the finest swordsman in all of the royal army, the Divine Blade at that. Before he retired from service, I had the chance to be trained by him when he was a martial arts instructor at the military academy. If not for him, I would not be nearly as skilled as I am. I can't believe it. Dad's never used anything except a bow staff. I guess he must have given up the sword when he decided to become a bracer. His goal wasn't to kill his enemies, he wanted to improve himself and help those weaker than he. That's why he chose the bow staff as his weapon, or so I imagine. Really? I didn't know that my use of a staff had that kind of significance. I'm sure he ho hoped that you'd inherit that same kind of mindset. I think he'd be proud of you. Joshua? Colonel Cassius trained both of you. I have all the faith in the world that you'll win tomorrow's match. <laughs> Hearing you say that almost makes you think you're right. We'll put everything we have into it. Pardon us, this is Grand Soul City Guard. Due to the terrorist threat, we will now be patrolling the main facilities. I apologize for the lateness of the hour, but do you mind if we have a look inside? Crap! Quite alright, thank you. Just a moment, please, and I'll open the door. There's another door at the back of the altar room. You can get outside from there. Okay. Please be careful. Sorry to say, the bear not make me do all that again. Ugh. Phew. Well, we managed to avoid the patrol so far. It doesn't look like there are any soldiers this way. Yeah, I'm not sensing anyone. I guess the night patrols are finally done. Let's rest for a moment here, then head back to the hotel. Okay. Ugh, so much is going on, it's starting to give me a headache. <laughs> I'll bet. I never would have imagined it to be Lieutenant Schwartz waiting for us at the cathedral. Wait, so... she wasn't who you were expecting to find there? Could it be... 
You were thinking it'd be someone you'd known before? Well... Oh, sorry. Forget I said anything. Gotta remember the rules. Estelle? I won't ask you anything about before we met until you're ready to tell me. I try to be careful, but sometimes it just slips my mind. Estelle, uh, I... I think you've gotten a little stronger during our travels. Huh? It's overwhelming to think about all the people around us. Each and every one of them living his or her own life, all under the same sky. And every person you meet has a personality, and a history, and a story to tell. Every one of them is just like us, living day by day. Sometimes, I just have to remind myself that no one acts without cause. Nothing happens without a reason, or a motive, or an excuse. And it's only when I remember that that I start to feel like I might be able to reclaim the parts of me I've lost. Joshua? I'm probably just fooling myself, tricking myself into accepting things I can't change. But even so, I'm grateful for having someone with me. The sky, Dad, but most of all, you. Joshua! So, I promise, once this whole matter is settled, and if Dad comes back safely, I'll tell you everything there is to know about my past. Uh, really? Really. But the stars is my witness. Uh. Okay then, we've got ourselves a deal. We have ourselves a deal. Estelle? All my gloom's gone fluttering away. Cause once you told me what you gotta tell me, then I'll tell you what I gotta tell you. Uh, what? Oh wait, is this about that thing you've had on your mind? Yep. <laughs> Gonna have to psych myself up for it. Psych yourself up? Is it really something so... dramatic? I mean, if it's that important, I really don't mind hearing about it now. Absolutely not. It's a delicate matter, and timing is crucial. Though, I guess the situation does feel kinda right. But still, no dice. Not yet. I don't get you sometimes, Estelle. I swear, you seem like you're ready to take on anything now. All well, because we've got a big talk planned. It makes no sense. Of course I'm ready. Ain't no way I'm letting those guys keep me from this talk. I'm gonna show those special op type how a, a touch of girl power can ruin their whole day. Ruin their... <laughs> you really are your father's daughter. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? You'd better not be comparing me to a middle-aged man. Yeah, I guess you're right. Somehow, I think we're going to do just fine tomorrow. Yeah, but we still got a little training to do in the... in the new sewer way. Yesterday was genuinely awful. I returned to the embassy, oh, full of spirit. And those tiresome... Howdy, Luna. How are you? I'm good, Soup. How are you doing? Welcome to the stream. I returned to the embassy, over full of spirit, when those tiresome gods saw fit to stop and cast flame and stinging disparagements at me. Well, except that I kind of failed a stealth... another stealth portion of the game. And this time I didn't save first, so I'm just stuck with the consequences. They've tightened security at night, supposedly for anti-terrorist purposes. Got a free bottle of water, so I'm pretty happy about that. Oh, that's nice. Were you two okay? Yes, we went to bed rather early. So we didn't have any problems. And Elnon lent us, lent us something that might really give us an edge. Estelle explained that Elnon had loaned them the spare key to the Grandsel sewers. Now that should come in handy. I fixed some problems at work, doing the best I can. How are you? I'm doing good, thanks. As I said, failed a stealth mission, so I'm just going to... And I didn't save first, so... I'm just going to settle... Live with the BP I lost. He's a young one, but he's got a real spark to him. He always seems to know what you need and when you need it. So, what do you say we check out the sewers this morning? The gate is just north of the arena. 
Well, if it's for the banquet, we sh could muster up one more huzzah. Uh, damn right we are. Gotta get our CP back up, at least. Uh, let's see... Okay, they said they're north of the... Hmm. Oh, maybe they mean this air part over here? Or at least somewhere over here? Yeah, I bet this is it. Okay, gonna save this time for sure. Use Gransel Sewer Key B. Oh shoot, I need to get out of here and go check the... Um... The guild first to see if there's any more... Any new side quest I need to do. So as soon as I finish this fight, I'll back out. Still not getting much experience from this place, so yeah, once we're max CP, and also after we finish anything I might have to do. Any side quest I might have to do, yeah, we're just gonna have to back out. Because I'm not gonna get mu much experience from that place. Okay, let's see. I need to go to the south block to get to the Bracer Guild. Huh? But yeah, glad you are able to take care of whatever problems there were, or at least the ones you were able- or at least the ones you took care of. You know what I mean. <laughs> yep, called it. Another new monster in the sewers. Alright, now we can go. Super, you still there?
sorry about that. Co-worker asked me a technical question. What's up? Uh, I said, I'm doing good aside from failing a failing another stealth portion that I had to do and I didn't say beforehand so I'm just going to have to live with the BP I've lost this time. Stealth missions are butts. Yep. Except, of course, in stealth games. Yeah, of course. Like, I can definitely take a little Sly Cooper action. That was a... In fact, I need to play... I need to try to play those games again. I've only played a little bit of the first one and got stuck on it. Yeah, I actually have the trilogy on PlayStation 3, so... Maybe if I ever have the confidence, that could be something else I could stream sometime. But yeah, even the stealth portions in Marvel Spider-Man are pretty annoying, especially the ones that Spider-Man doesn't do.
Sly Cooper could be fun to watch. Yeah, like I said, I just hope I can do better at it than I had last time I played. On. How did that one survive? Oh well. Uh, Phalaris One, welcome to the stream. How you doing tonight? And uh, let's see, you're saying, how are you finding this game so far? Debating between playing this or starting Trails of Cold Steel. Ah, uh, personally, I would say start with this one. But yeah, I am really enjoying it. But if you don't want any spoilers, you might want to back out because I am on the final chapter. <laughs> but yeah, that's my suggestion. I. But yeah, that's my suggestion. I. I do think it would probably be better. Uh, if Reen is here, he might be a bigger expert on that than I am. But... Uh, let's see. But... I still think this would probably be the better option. <laughs> Possibly for story reasons, also. But if you want to stick around, if you don't care about spoilers, then go ahead. I was just giving you the heads up. Let's see... What is that thing I picked up? Gladiator headband. Oh, right, of course, it raises attack. Thanks for the heads up. No problem. Uh. Dang, I kind of want to give this to Joshua. Because <laughs> he seems to be have the worst time keeping his CP up, so. I would say start with the Sky Trilogy. Okay, there you go. Reen is more of an expert on the series than I am, so... He definitely wouldn't steer you wrong, I wouldn't think. <laughs> well, no. No thinking about it. He definitely wouldn't. <laughs> Let's see, how much... Much defense. Okay, just five points. I'm not gonna fuss about that then. Trilogy? I thought there were only two games. Nope, there's three. Uh, I think the third one. I think the. Well, actually, I don't know. I start to say I think the third one only got the English translation released on Steam, but I could be wrong about that. Uh. So again, you'd have to ask someone who actually knows. But yeah, there's three. There's three of them. But since we brought that up, you do know how many games are in Cold Steel, right? Yeah. Yes, the third game is only on PC in the West. Four, I believe. Okay, yeah, that's correct. There are four. Just wanted to make sure.
But do you think put Reen, do you think putting the gladiator headband on Joshua was the right idea? Was the right call? Yes, okay. Because, like I said, it seems like he has the hardest time keeping his CP up, so... Or getting his CP up, so I thought something that helps him get up faster would be good. But yeah, thanks for dropping in, Valeris. I appreciate it. Time to go back. Take care. Hope to see you later. Yeah, I hope to see you too, Soup. Take care. Hope everything goes smoothly tonight.
favor the victim. We are for the big
Found Hawkeye. Okay. If I had to guess the name, I'd say maybe it's Olivier's. Yep, called it. Let's see, so that's ten points, alright. I'll be right back, so just give me a moment.
Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Let's see, I think I've already been everywhere up there, so...
pretty nice. Olivier learned Happy Trigger.
Okay, I'm back. And I feel like I've been everywhere, so where is that monster?
That sounds like it should probably be for Joshua. Oh, no, it's not. It's just... Uh, for Zen, then? Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess it makes sense now that I think about it. I was thinking more of the fact that it's usually two weapons, but I guess technically that's what Zen would be using also. Okay, that'll help, because <laughs> it means her EP will be back to full. <laughs> That's our target. Um, and it's down the other stairway. My goodness, there's four of them even. Okay, let's see. Oh no, that's not what I wanted to do.
Well, that wasn't too hard. Extermate monster in Grand Cell Sewers East Block. Alright. Now let's activate this thing. Not that I look to ever have a reason to need to go that way now, but still nice to know there's a shortcut out. In fact, let's take that shortcut out. <laughs> At least I hope it's a shortcut out. I don't know. We'll find out. Although I do still need to fight some more monsters, but maybe these will be easier to get my CP up with <laughs> than the ones on the other side.
Ugh, finally. Alright, let's get out of here. Reported results for Sewer Monster East. 3,000 Mira and 8 BP. Ooh, we got first class. Achievement unlocked. Police patrol. <laughs> okay. Received gladiator belt accessory as a perk. Ooh, I got a second one. Oh, wait, no, a gladiator belt, not headband. Uh, congratulations on Simon. Well done. If you finish any other posted tasks, we should be sure to come back and let us know. Uh, I think that's all there is for now, isn't it? Yep. Okay, let's see. Da -da -da. Hmm. Hey, Rain, should I give this to Joshua and let Estelle have the other one, or should I just let Estelle have this one? Give it to Estelle? Okay. Alright. We're caught up on that, but I wanted to buy some items. Uh, I wonder if I can... Mm, well, no, but I'll go ahead and buy these. Somehow the act of eating it fired off long hidden neurons in the brain, teaching you the recipe for boo boo bleh, bleh, bleh. Yeah, I can't pronounce that. <laughs> anyway, I guess I need to go to wherever the market is. <laughs> Which was that the east block? I think it's the east block. Yeah.
Yeah, that's what I want. Uh, yeah, that's what I wanted. Okay, yeah, I already bought that. Okay, now I need to go to the inn. Or the hotel, rather. Okay, um... Alright, yeah, let's just head on to the arena. Uh, let's see, that means I need to go back to the east block. Here we go. Hope I'm ready for this. Welcome everyone to the Grand Arena. Please note the tournament participants blah 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 blah. Bring it on. Yeah, I've read all of it already, so. Oh, we went straight there this time, okay. Uh, looks like looks like it's just us in here. This waiting room feels awfully big right now. Well, it actually is a pretty big room. Team sports events and circus circuses alike used to be held here. But that was back in a time when gladiators find monsters was a man's only source of entertainment. Interesting. Uh, I guess I would explain the size if there were circus animals in here. I must say, it certainly doesn't measure up to an Imperial Opera House. But even so, it's about the size of an outdoor concert venue, and that's certainly acceptable. Excuse us for being less gaudy than you imperialists. I think we may have gotten here a little too early, though. We still got a sizable chunk of time before the match starts. Really? Ugh, waiting around for your match to start really does get kind of boring. So, why don't we walk around the grounds for a little while, then? Works for me! We're gonna go out for a walk, guys. Sure, just make sure you're back- you're here in time for the match. Hmm. Well, well, what new turn of events is this? I thought for sure that you'd go with them. Hmm, I get- I just get the feeling that something's changed between the two of them. Does that mean you're gonna stop flirting with Joshua? <laughs> Some type of step forward. Hello, Mr. Observant. They've definitely been feeling some pressure from the matches. But today they seem a lot more relaxed. Oh, to be that young again, eh? But are they ready for the feelings that well up from within them? Even if they are not, the feelings are surely ready for them. Are, re are surely ready for them. Haha. <laughs> 
Such delightful awkwardness. I look forward to what comes of it. I really just don't get you. <laughs> Something wrong? Are you feeling alright? I'm okay. I just got the chills all of a sudden. Like someone is talking about us or plotting something. I think I can guess who that is. <laughs> okay, so we can't. Okay, so we can't leave the building. So, hmm. What are we gonna do? Walk around here? I guess. Yeah, but we were gonna walk around for a bit first. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna get to do much walking around then, I guess. Guess we can see what's upstairs. Oh, right, the seeds. <laughs> Oh, hello. Hey, Estelle! You did it! The final fight! It's so exciting! Deep breaths, Dorothy. Come on now. Do it with me. If you don't relax and keep yourself still and focused, you won't be able to get any good shots. Oh, don't you worry about that. I take my best pictures when I'm all hyped up like this. They're more natural, you see. Oh, uh, oh... I guess they would be? Dorothy, I think you're some kind of savant or something. Is something wrong, Kurt? Hmm? Oh, it's you guys. I guess it's time for the final match. Give it all you got, okay? You bet! And you don't look so good there, Kurt. Are you okay? You do seem pale. Nah, just a little lightheaded, that's all. Oh, it's kind of odd. I don't feel sick, so why am I lightheaded? I think I'm having a flashback. Flashback? From what? Yesterday? No, no, no. From an accident I had about three months ago. Seems I screwed up on a job and messed myself up pretty bad. What do you mean, seems? You don't mean amnesia, do you? I do. It's kind of embarrassing and perhaps even a bit cliched. But I actually don't remember a thing about it. Or didn't, anyway. I still can't even remember what job I was doing that got me hurt in the first place. The doctor said it wasn't shock or anything, but offered no other explanations as to what it could be. Wow, what a story. But you were still okay to participate in the match, even in that condition? I told you, physically, there is nothing wrong with me. In fact, I'm feeling a lot better just talking it over with you. And in time, these flashbacks will start to take shape, and I'll remember what happened. So don't worry about me, okay? Uh, okay, I guess. If you say so. You are starting to look a little better than you did a minute ago. Just be careful, though, okay? Thanks. You guys, too. Good luck out there. We're all here to root for you today. You're representing the Bracer Guild out there, so be sure to make us proud. Hey, you guys. Listen, just relax and do what you've always done. There's no pressure. Hey, newbies! Your opponents are tough, but you guys should be able to take them take them no sweat. Break a leg out there. We'll be cheering for you like you wouldn't believe. Yep. It's the same side, just a different... from a different... <laughs> from a different perspective. Huh. Alright. Hmm. Buckle ready. There's still time before the match begins, you know. 
Go, make the most of this next few hours. Explore, discover, experience together. I need to go west up now. So, how do you propose we go after those special ops guys? They're not going to give us any openings. The only chance we have, I believe, is to target their commanding officer. If we take him down, openings are sure to follow. Oops, it's not time for the match yet. I suppose it can't hurt to walk around the grounds a bit. We got time. Yeah, but where am I supposed to go? I've already been everywhere. Mm. And I can't leave the building. <laughs> oh, I didn't talk to these two. I don't think. Well, okay, I guess I thought there was another... There might have been a thing on the other side. Hmm. Oh, okay. Estelle, Joshua. Professor? You came to watch us? But of course, you've always been such a big help to me. I owe you two at least that much. Thanks, Professor. But how'd you scrape together the mirror for a ticket? Well, that was a bit of a lucky break on my part, actually. The museum director had some sudden business to attend to, so he couldn't make it today. And I am here in his stead. I guess you'd never be able to get in here out of your own pocket. Ha! Huh. Not that I wouldn't try, of course. I'm sure I could find a way, if I put my mind to it. At any rate, I am here, and here I am. And I'll be shouting your names for sure. Knock em dead, you two. You bet we will. Thank you, Professor.
Okay, let me make sure I didn't miss anybody else. Okay, hopefully that was every thing I need to do. Ah, cutscene out here. Oh. Estelle? Joshua? Is that you? Mayor Klaus! Oh, wow. What brings you here? It's good to see you both again. Sherazar told me that you'd gone traveling all over the kingdom. You've certainly grown up nicely since in the time since we last met. <laughs> Thank you very much. Well, I can't speak for myself, really. But you certainly seem as chipper as ever, Mr. Mayor. It's kind of refreshing to see. <laughs> well, I won't let you young folk be me just yet. So, I hear you two made it all the way to the championship in this big martial arts competition. I may be a little old for such things, but I came to watch. You came all the way from Roland for that? No, no. Actually, I got an invitation out of the blue to a dinner party at Gransel Castle. I only arrived in Gransel this morning. Came by way of an airliner. No way! Ah, uh, I think I get it. The invitation came from Duke Dunon, right? Oh, you know of it? I was originally planning to attend a birth ceremony for this married couple and then journey here. But this lady officer approached me out of nowhere and told me that I was invited to this dinner party. One guess as to who that was. Yeah, it had to be Captain Amalthea. Sadly, my wife's just not much of the traveling sort. So I didn't have much choice but to come here by myself. Huh, she's not here? Pardon me, Mayor. There is a chance that we may also be attending that dinner party. Oh? Estelle and Joshua explained that Duke had stated that the winner of the competition would receive a formal invitation to the party. Oh, I see. Well, that explains it. It hardly seems appropriate to call for a dinner party when Her Majesty is taken ill. But if you two will be there, I might not feel quite so awkward. So that just means that you'll have to try that much harder to win. Ha <laughs> ha, you bet. We'll try our best to meet your expectations. I think I'm going I'm think I'm going to find myself a seat then. Best of luck to the both of you. I can't believe he's going to be at the dinner party, too. You think Mayor Maybell will be there as well? It seems likely. There will probably be a lot of influential people in attendance. Hmm, oh well. We just need to focus on winning our match, and then we'll see everyone there. Sounds good. Speaking of which, it's almost time. Let's return to the waiting room. Okay! Well, look who else is here. Oh! It looks like the Duke and Colonel Richard are showing up together today. Indeed. Maybe he's here to watch his subordinates compete? Oh, so that's the Royal Army's darling of the public, eh? He's handsome enough and well-groomed. He looks like the capable sort. Yeah, I guess so. Hmm, it doesn't seem to bear much resemblance to when I saw him in bows. At least in terms of character. Huh, but what indeed can one do? I suppose that he is worthy of being considered a rival to the great Olivier Lenheim. I doubt he's worried about that. Looks like it's starting. We must apologize to everyone for the long wait. We now open the final day of the martial arts competition's full contact matches.
This arena has been a buzz with preparations and fighting for the better part of a week now. And it all culminates right here, right now. Which team will seize ultimate victory this day? Without further ado, I present the fight card for this the championship match. Southside Blue Team from the Calvert Republic Captain is Zen. Northside Red Team from the Royal Army Intelligence Division Special Forces. Captain is Second Lieutenant Lawrence. Alright, we're up. Finally. I trust everyone is ready to put everything into this. For tears or for laughter, this is it. Game faces, guys! Alright, here we go. Everyone we fought so far is, is so far has been everything we fought so far has been about as tough as tapioca. That and half this team is a pair of rookies. I doubt they'd be able to stand up to us. <laughs> Don't be so sure. Both of them are part of the Bracer Guild. Indeed. We've been raining up on them. Good. Now stay focused and don't underestimate them. Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Okay, what are these those guys grousing about over there? Just let them be, Estelle. If they're covering their faces like that, I can't imagine they have much in the way of self-confidence. Since they lack my dazzling good looks, there's probably a lot of there's probably a lot of sniping and backbiting in their ranks. Well, what the hell is that supposed to mean? I'll have you know I'm considered very attractive to women. Hmm. Um, Second Lieutenant Lorenz, right? What is it, boy? Joshua? That sword technique. No, never mind. Best of luck. Heh, <laughs> and to you. Mm -hmm. Hey, don't let their talk get y'all depressed. We're about to start. We now begin the final match of the martial arts competition. Both teams, go to your starting places. Adios be with you. Ready? Begin! Alright, here we go. Hmm. You know what? Hmm. Probably shouldn't hold back at this point. Uh, excuse me? Now that's a new trick.
Oh, come on, really? Wait, just a thousand? Huh? Surprised that worked on him. I mean, the confusion, rather. Oh, come on. Well, we won. I don't know, was he still going to... Was he... Was he still not going all out, though? I have to wonder. KO! Winner is Sense Team! It... It can't be. We're the best... The best that the Special Ops have to offer. How could we lose? Bah, we're beaten. Yahoo! We won. We really won. <sighs> and I'm exhausted. Mm. Uh, yeah, I'm with you, Zen. Now the winning team will be blessed with a few words from Duke Dunon. Representing the team will be Zen Vothic. Please come forward. Yes, sir. Wow, you look even bigger up close. Are all Easterners as huge as you? No, I'm a little outside of the ordinary. Out the ordinary. I just ate well, slept well, and trained diligently ever since I was very young. I'm the way I am because I tend to think about everything very carefully and deeply. Ha ha ha, I see, I see. I like you, Zin. Allow me to present you with the prize of 100,000 Mira and the invitation to the dinner party. Thank you very much, sir. Received invitation. Received 100,000 Mira. Helios shine her light and glory upon you and your friends. My beloved citizens, let's hear a big round of applause for the victors! Haha. <laughs> An instant conclusion, I'd say. Humph, Lieutenant Lawrence, you truly have no shame. His Excellency must surely be ashamed to see his men beaten by such rabble. With all that posturing just for show. I am indeed shamed. Ha <laughs> ha, come now, Amalthea. You needn't criticize him so. Truth be told, I myself asked Lawrence to hold back. What? I knew it. It would behoove any member of the intelligence division not to put all his strength on his uh, strengths on display. And in this instance, it works to our benefit that the others in the championship. I see. His grace too seems taken with the Easterner. His he'll serve as an ample distraction. Still, it is a pity if Lieutenant Schwartz or General Morgan had participated. The show would have been far more dynamic. <laughs> Surely you jest, sir. If you truly wanted the tournament to be more dynamic, perhaps you should have participated yourself? 
The likes of Julia are no match for your strength, after all. Haha, <laughs> I don't think quite that highly of my skill with the sword. I doubt I would be able to defeat the second lieutenant here if he fought as hard as he could, either. Hardly, sir. I believe you somewhat overestimate my strength. I'm nothing but a but an unrefined former Jaeger in a soldier's uniform. I beg to differ. I have confidence in my ability to judge the strength of others. And about the only person I could see being able to fight you on equal terms would be him. Speaking of whom, his children will shortly be entering Gransel Castle. Shouldn't we be taking some sort of steps to deal to deal with them? Leave them be. We'll honor the arrangement with the Duke. And besides, it's far too late for the Bracer Guild to cause us any real trouble. But, but, sir, Lawrence, how far along would you gauge the plans for progress? Just over ninety percent, sir. I am certain I will be able to guide you to our destination within the next few days. Excellent. A new dawn fast approaches for this kingdom, and even if I must endure the stigma of treason, I shall pave the way for the glorious morrow. Grandsel East Block. Phew! Now that was one hell of a fight! I had no idea that Lieutenant Lawrence was so freaking strong! Yes, I think we got lucky. Even now, it's hard to believe. I don't like it. Huh? Uh, it's nothing. More importantly, that fancy shindig is supposed to be happening tonight. From what I understand, it's going to run late to the night, so they're setting up rooms for us. Ah, oh, most generous of them. Rubbing shoulders with all those stuff shots is sure to chafe in the worst way, in uncomfortable places. But dining? Lib- Lib- Royal Dining? The very prospect of such decadence. Look at me. My mouth, mouth can hardly con can bear the contain itself. Where's my handkerchief? Uh, it's getting on your- Ah, oh, gross. It's good to see that you haven't lost your sense of perspective, Olivier. Ha ha ha, indeed. Let us be off then. Off to gorge our souls upon the seven courses of courtly affection. Oh, that's the plan, is it? Uh, well, well, fancy meeting you here. You son of a bitch! You wander all over the place every damn day and leave me wondering what the hell you're up to. Have you gone completely mad? What possessed you to participate in a martial arts competition? Oh, come now, my dear Mueller. There's no need to crease your lovely face with such an ill-tempered expression. After all, is it not true that good fortune comes to those who favor those around them with a smile? I am smiling! Is it just me, or do you recognize that uniform? Yeah, it looks like Imperial military to me. Mm, it looks like you could be a tough one to take on in a fight, too. I don't believe we've met. My name is Mueller. I was just recently appointed as the resident military officer at the Erebonian Embassy. I've known this whack job for a very long time. One might even call us schoolyard chums. <laughs> Fret not over his dark demeanor. Without it, his presence wouldn't light up the room the way it does. Okay, you really need to shut up now. Right. Ahem, <clears throat> now, where was I? From the looks of things... This fellow has caused you some trouble. As a representative, of the or as a representative of the Erebonian Embassy, I sincerely apologize. Oh, it's okay. He hasn't really been a bother. Actually, he was a big help to us in the tournament. Uh, Olivier, did you deliberately try to keep your participation in the tournament a secret from the embassy? Ha ha ha! How perilous the thought. No, no. Rather, I simply never told them. How is that any different from hiding it? But okay, fine. What's done is done. Now, now, though, you're going back to the embassy. Yes, you're coming with me. Eh? But please, do wait a moment. We have all been invited to a delightful, indeed wondrous, dinner party. Delightful and wondrous, eh? Sounds nice. Too bad you won't be attending. You're going to be confined to the embassy for a little while. Are you serious? 
When do I ever joke? Oh, cruel cool fate. Truly, you drive a knife into my very heart. The promise of this dinner party has been all that's helped me and maintain my will to live. You know, I actually feel kind of bad for him. Is it really that big a deal if you let him go to the party? What's your reasoning behind this? I knew I could count on you. Ah, oh, but how lovely a thing is true friendship. Such warmth and affection, as opposed to the cruel frigidity of my schoolyard chum. I don't think you folks really understand just how serious this is. But try to picture this. A dinner party populated by royalty and its influential guests from across the country. And also in attendance, an arrogant fool who never shuts his mouth because his foot is lodged so far into it. And if they found out that this uncouth imbecile was an Erebonian citizen... Mm. Mm. My beautiful and gracious comrades, why have you suddenly fallen so silent? I'm sorry, Olivier, but he does kind of have a point. Yeah, your usual behavior might not be appreciated in the royal castle. Hmm, true. We wouldn't want to start an international incident, would we? What? You would turn on me so easily. They already have one by the name of Dunon. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's very true, Reen. The war only ended ten years ago. Relations between our countries can still be strained at times. If only they knew who he was. Yep. You'll just have to grin and bear it, Olivier. Please, Mueller, hear me out. I'm sorry that I didn't say anything before, you know, when you... This isn't a debate. My dinner party! My royal cuisine! <laughs> uh, is this really okay? I can't say I really like it. Stupid Mueller. Oh, you're not a fan of Mueller? Reen? I can't say I really like it, but the facts are the facts. Well, there's nothing much we can do about it now. We'll just have to enjoy ourselves twice as much in order to make up for him not being able to join us. Oh, well, I guess you're right. Let's get our stuff together and go to Gransel Castle, then. Get our stuff together. Um... Well, I'll come back in a moment. <laughs> Actually, wait a minute. Is this where I'm supposed to go? That's the arena. Hmm. Okay. I'll get it sorted out. But first, I want to check the Bracer Guild one more time. Uh, resting at the end might not hurt either. Just in case something happens. Wait, Joshua, wasn't Chloe coming to the capital right about now? Now that she mentioned it, she did say she'd meet us before the birthday celebration started. We should definitely be- she should definitely be here by now. Elnon, there wasn't a girl about our age named Chloe who came around asking for us, was there? We'd promised to meet up here. Chloe, you say? No, I'm afraid no one by that name has been here. Ah, oh, raspberries. Maybe we should have asked where she was staying. She mentioned some rich relatives. Though, uh, it's not much of a lead, I suppose. I'm sure she's simply running late, and we'll try to contact you shortly. If she comes by, I'll be sure... I'll be sure to let you know immediately. Yeah, I think I'm starting to get it now. Anyway, uh... Like I said, let's go risk at the end, the hotel, just in case something else goes wrong. <laughs> Cause most likely something will. <laughs> oh. 
Yeah, I forgot we're short one person. Oh well. <laughs> How much money do we have now? 178,612. Now, where is the... Where be that palace? Okay, yep, this is it. Oh, are we going to the castle already? Just to remind you, since we're going to be staying there at the after the party, we won't be able to leave until morning. Uh, well, is there anything you think I should do before I go in, Reen? I already checked the guild, and there's no new quest. At least not on the board. go in unless you want to wait till next stream to do it. Uh, you think it'll take that long? Because I do still have over an hour, a little over an hour to go. But if you think it's gonna be that long that I should wait until next time. <laughs> Actually, now that I think about it, it probably would be that long, wouldn't it? <laughs> You can go in if you want. Alright, let's do it then. And I did save just outside, so... Alright, let's go. Well, let's show the gatekeeper our, our invitations then. Uh, I don't know why I'm so nervous. It's not just one big cutscene. Ah, oh, okay. Probably because we don't get invitations to big events like this very often. Hey, this is the castle of Her Majesty the Queen. Unless you have official business here, you need to learn. You need to lit. Hey. Hi there. We're sorry about the other day. Oh, it's you two. You're still staying in town? Yeah, we still have some business to take care of. We have a formal invitation, so by your leave, may we pass? A formal invitation? Received directly from His Grace. What? It's a giant! See, right here. Written invitation. Handed over the invitation. Let's see. To Zen and his team, in appreciation for your performance in the competition, you are cordially invited to a dinner party. Oh, okay. You guys were in the martial arts competition. Right, and I heard the winning team was led by a huge Eastern guy. So, is that you? <laughs> you got it. We would greatly appreciate your help. Makes sense. The head maid told us she'd be coming. You're missing someone. What happened to him? It's kind of impolite, I know, but it doesn't look like he's going to be able to make it. We're the only ones coming. Oh, well, that's a pity. No matter. Please go on in. Now entering Zen and Company, victors of the martial arts competition. Open the gate! I think you might beat the game next week. Yep, and I will go ahead and start. 
chap the second chapter, I've already gotten Saul too. Wow! It's like the Hawkengate, but there's something more impressive about it being part of a castle. I'd bet it's more solid too, since it's the royal castle. That's part of why it's impregnable. Ever since the nation was established, no enemy has ever broken through the Onenberg Wall. The capital has been ravaged by war numerous times as a result of mutinies and insurrections amongst the nobles. But even then, the castle held the rebel army at bay and protected the royal family and the refugees. Or so the stories say. Wow, that's pretty neat. Very much the sort of tale one would expect from a nation with such history. Now, welcome to Her Majesty's Grand Cell Castle. Go right on in. You'll be met by a welcoming party inside. Welcoming party. Okay. Enjoy your evening. <sighs> I'm sorry. I just know something's gonna go wrong. Not sure when or what, but something. Whoa! That's what I say. You can say that again. I've never seen anything that compares to this place. It's not just pretty, it's got history. I can really feel the traditions and rules of the old kingdom here. Welcome to Grensel Castle. You are Zinn and his team, correct? Oh, okay, it was... Her Captain Amalthea! This isn't really unexpected, but even so... That's right, we come at the invitation of the good duke. And, uh, you are? Haha, oh, pardon me. I am... Captain Kanona Mafia of the Intelligence Division, head of Grand Sil Castle's defense. I would like to extend my heartfelt congratulations for your championship victory. Watching the match was truly a spectacular experience. You're too kind, really. And may I say, I didn't know they made women as young and pretty as you into captains. You must do fine work. My, but you are the flatterer. But I'm not so young as your brace of friends. <laughs> Estelle and Joshua Bright. It's been some time since the incident in Zayas, hasn't it? Yeah, I guess it has. Quite some time. Unfortunately, the matter concerning Professor Russell is yet to be resolved. It appears that he and his granddaughter were abducted by a group of nefarious individuals. You wouldn't happen to know anything about that, would you? I'm afraid not. We left that case up to the full-fledged bracers and came to Gransel. We never even heard the follow-up report on it. I see. <laughs> That's truly a shame. Well, with the resources of the Intelligence Division, it's only a matter of time before the culprits are arrested. Have no fear on that score. Well, what the hell's with her? Understood. We trust you to take care of the Professor. Oh, absolutely. Now, we must show you to your rooms. Shea, if you would please do the honors. Hello again, Soup! <laughs> I mean, sorry. Yeah, <laughs> um, Soup says hello again. And yeah, hello again to you too, Soup. How's work been tonight? Still been going smoothly, or did, did get things get more hectic? And we won the martial arts tournament, and we're now head into the about to attend the dinner party without Olivier, unfortunately. <laughs> Pretty busy. I cut a lot of fabric too. Oh, okay. And I'm, as I've just stated, I'm pretty sure something's gonna happen. And again, don't know what, don't know when, but something. <laughs> Shea, if you would please do the honors. Yes, ma'am. See to their needs. But do not bore them with any idle chatter. Do I make myself clear? Y yes ma'am, I understand. Haha, <laughs> very good. Now everyone, I hope you enjoy your evening. For my part, I must bid you farewell. Mm -hmm. That is one fine woman. I 
hate to say this in, but your taste in women is crap. There's nothing fine about that fox-faced harpy. I think that might be just be his favorite type of woman. Well, to each their own. To each his own, I guess. Haha, <laughs> I just tend to find that women like that turn out to be pretty good people once you peel back a few layers. Well, I think you'll have to peel back several layers. <laughs> so to speak. You're hopeless. Not that it matters, but you really do sound like a dirty old man sometimes. Oh, my honor! Uh, um... Oh, uh, sorry about that. You were supposed to show us to our room, right? Yes, please allow me. Pardon my not saying before, but I'm Shea, a maid here at the castle. I will be at your service this evening, from the dinner party until the morning. If anything is not to your satisfaction, please don't hesitate to let me know. Thank you very much. Will you please show us the room, then? Certainly. It's on the second floor. Chandelier! Talk about classy! Hush, Estelle. What's that way? Uh, that's the throne room. Her Majesty uses it to receive personal guests. It hasn't seen much use in recent days, though. I see. But is the Queen's condition really that bad? Isn't the birthday celebration coming up soon? Uh, oh no! It's just that it's the head maid who tends to her in the royal keep of late. I shouldn't speak on subjects about which I'm unfamiliar. C come then, shall we? Uh. Ooh, I like the purple sofas. <laughs> This is the room where you'll be staying. Please, go on in. Uh, okay. Pardon us. Uh. Holy Stragas! I never imagined we'd stay here. I never imagined we'd ever stay in a place like this. Nice. Darn it, I've accidentally pushed the A button. I believe there's still some time before the party. You are free to explore the castle, but the security areas are off limits. I ask that you refrain from entering those areas. Um, can you be a little more specific? Most significantly, the royal keep where the queen resides. It is a small palace of sorts, built on the garden terrace on the roof. Garden terrace? That sounds nice. <laughs> the terrace is where Her Majesty greets the people of Grandsel from during the birthday festivities. So you cannot go into the royal keep itself, but you may visit the garden terrace if you like. As for the other restricted areas, there's the royal guard room and also the treasury, I believe. The royal guard room? I guess they're still wanted for questioning about all that terrorist stuff. Y yes The intelligence division is currently occupying it. Entrance is restricted, so please abide by the rules. Understood. By the way, what are the others who were invited doing? They've already arrived. I imagine they're relaxing in their respective rooms. Alright. So, Mayor Klaus is here too. Oh yes, he arrived some time ago. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll be off. If you need anything else, please contact the first floor waiting room. Now then... Estelle and Joshua exchanged a look that went unnoticed by Zen. Hey, Zen. We want to go and walk around the castle for a little bit. We'll be back in time for the party. 
Huh, it must be nice to be so young. I'm worn out after the tournament. No problem, have fun. Me, I'm going to kick back and relax in this oh-so-luxurious room. Yeah, I wish I could enjoy the room right now, but... Uh... We need to get as much done as we can before the party starts. First, Julia told us that we have to talk to the head maid, Hilda. I'd like to say hello to the other invitees, too. We likely know most of them. Alrighty. Mayor Maybell? And Lila. Joshua, Estelle. Ah, here at last. I keep wondering when you'd get here. I was practically counting the seconds. So you're invited here too, Mayor? Hey, wait. You were waiting for us? How'd you know we were coming? I heard from Mayor Klaus. I heard about a pair of children who entered the tournament, won its championship, and were invited to a grand royal banquet in the castle. If I'd known, I would have cancelled my appointments and come to cheer you on. I beg your pardon, ma'am. But that would have been quite impossible, given the circumstances. Yes, yes, I'm aware. I'm trying to be polite. <laughs> Don't worry, I know how busy you must be. I'm sure the Queen has no time to waste at a banquet. What with everything else going on? What is Duke Dunan thinking? That captain was so stubborn about inviting me, too. I had no real choice but to accept. Do you mean Captain Amalthea? Yes, that's her. Her words were polite enough, but she gave me an evil eye while she spoke them. I dare not refuse her request. I haven't heard from General Morgan in quite some time. Wait, does that mean... You haven't heard any word of from the Hawking Gate? The general is unavailable, is the longest message I've been able to wring from them. It would seem he's busy with those these anti-terrorist countermeasures, or what have you. I had hoped he'd be in attendance at this banquet tonight, but I guess he couldn't pull himself away. Hmm. What do you think about all of this, Mayor? Putting mayors from every city in the same place at a time like this. Well... If the Queen were to be in attendance, I would expect some announcement of no small importance. But, as it is, this feels like the Duke has too much time on his greasy, chubby hands. He's letting this position of royal proxy go to his head. That sounds about right. But there might still be some kind of official announcement, don't you think? Well, whatever may come of the night, the Grand Chef here is the best in all the kingdom. I plan to enjoy the dinner, pay my respects to Her Majesty, and return to Bose post-haste. My mistress has been looking forward to seeing you again. Please come visit her and Bose again sometime soon. Okay, I'm just gonna go grab a bottle of water and I'll be right back.
Okay, I'm back. Let's see, who else can we talk to? Oh, maybe I do need to go this way. Oh, wait. Okay, nobody here. Oh boy, I would love a room like this, I'm not gonna lie. All this purple is just my right up my alley. <laughs> anyway. Welcome back. Thanks, Soup. Ah, oh, Joshua Hostel, you made it. It's been quite a while. Dean Collins? You were invited to the banquet as well, sir? Uh, I just arrived today via airship from Ruan. A little mayoral birdie told me you two won the tournament. Jill and everyone else will be ha so happy to hear it. <laughs> Thank you. I had no idea we'd be seeing you here, Dean Collins. Dean Collins is a member of the Royal Assembly and a man of great respect in Lyborough. It's only fitting he'd be given a seat at this banquet. A man of great respect, he says. You flatter me, Maya. What's the Royal Assembly? It's a meeting held once per year to address matters affecting the kingdom. The queen, mayors of every city, and other representatives all come together to try solving various problems of state. Wow, sounds big. So, all those guys have been invited here tonight, too? No, I'd say only about half. Her Majesty is still ill, and General Morgan is away on official military business. And Mayor Dalmore of Ruan was arrested in that nasty affair. And Professor Russell... He is a bit too entrenched in too many unknowns right now. We don't know how true all this talk is of the Royal Guardsmen being involved in some underground terrorist organization. It's hardly the time to be holding a feast at all, if you ask me. Mm. Mm. Well, we can use this chance to see where Duke Dunon stands on all these issues. We need his permission to have an audience with Her Majesty regardless. Yes, that's the biggest issue here, without a doubt. Barring us from seeing Her Majesty is the height of idiocy and mismanagement. I would like to pay my respects to Princess Claudia as well, but it's the same story. Princess Claudia's the Queen's granddaughter, right? Does she live here in the castle? No, it's my understanding her actual residence is elsewhere. But I'm told she's come to the capital as of a few days ago. She's here then? I'd really love to meet her. I'm sure you'll have a chance. What are those people the intelligence division up to? Taking important documents without official permission. Estelle, Joshua! Mr. Murdoch, I thought you might be here. With mayoral class individuals as a guest list, we had a feeling you might also be in attendance. I must say, I never expected you two to win a tournament championship and end up hobnobbing in Gransel Castle. Cassie's scared to the bones, you are. <laughs> it took more than our upbringing to get us to get here. Lots of people helped along the way. So, it's been a few days. Have there been any developments? Well, right after you left for the capital, Captain Amalthea from the Intelligence Division came knocking. She forced me to come to this banquet, 
but I kept my mouth shut about Leaston Fortress. Professor Russell and company are still on the run, too. Army hasn't found them yet. But the longer we keep this up, the less chance I have. It's really only a matter of time. I asked Captain Amalthy if I could see your majesty and wish her well, but no luck. I was flat out refused. So in other words, we definitely aren't going to be able to do this the easy way. We sure aren't. But don't you worry, because we totally got that covered. We will get the professor's message to her majesty, one way or another. Like, someone must have been in that room. Oh, right. It's the garden terrace. Oh, wow. Check that out. This must be the castle's garden terrace. I say so. You can see the whole lake from here. And it overlooks the town, too. Must be great for reconnaissance. <sighs> as nice as this is, we really don't have time to stop and enjoy it. We got a job to do. That must be the royal keep. Hmm? Who are you? Hey, you two. Um, we're here as guests to the Duke. Is this where Her Majesty lives? Of course it is. But for the last few days, she hasn't been feeling so well. She's not seeing anyone right now. Uh-oh, you got all wrong. You weren't even thinking of that. I just thought it would be amazing if she were to even take notice of us. Does Princess Claudia sleep here as well? No, it's just... Hey! The princess is focused on looking after her majesty. Neither of them has time to deal with the likes of you. Might I inquire as to what's going on here? Uh, madam, we didn't know you were back already. The dinner party will be starting soon, so I'll be returning to the maid quarters. And who are our guests? They're from the team that won the martial arts competition. It's only because of that victory that someone of a bracer social standing would ever be invited here. A bracer social standing? Such discourtesy! You would insult those who are personally invited to the royal castle? Uh, no, uh, that's not what. Those invited by the Duke should be treated with all the respect due to those invited by Her Majesty. I sincerely hope you have not forgotten that. Uh, understood. Wow, she's intense. I wonder who she is. But, madam, we can't just allow them to pass. Surely you understand the reasons that the colonel laid out. Yes, and I'm quite tired of hearing them repeat it to me. I'm terribly sorry, sir and madam. Security has been heightened, and as such, the royal keep and its surroundings are off-limits. Bracers are superior to traitors. Very true, Reen. <laughs> if I may ask, would you mind waiting in your room until the dinner party begins? Uh, uh alright. That's fine. We'll do as you ask. I apologize. We weren't trying to cause any trouble. Humph. <laughs> fine then. Just don't let it happen again. <laughs> uh, s safe return to you. I apologize that you were subjected to such dreadful behavior. My name is Hilda. Yep, figured. 
I am the head maid of Grenzel Castle, and I oversee all of the housekeeping duties. Aha! We had a feeling. Hmm? Forgive my rudeness, but are we previously acquainted? Well, uh, someone told us about you. Handed Julia's letter to Hilda. I know this handwriting. You see? We also had of our bracelet and bracer emblems and identification with us. I see. Please, come with me to the maid's sitting room. We can discuss the matter further once we are there. I understand. You need to deliver Professor Russell's message to Her Majesty. Correct? Right. If now's not a good time, we can try later, but... No, it's not an issue. But those special ops men have had the royal keep under constant surveillance for some time now. Only the Duke, the Colonel, and hired attendants such as myself are allowed in. Which means that a private audience is probably a no-go. What do you think, Estelle? We could ask Hilda to relay the professor's message to Her Majesty. Hmm. No, I'd really rather speak to her face to face. There are just too many particulars we don't know that we'd really need to discuss directly. Like what Dick Dunon and Colonel Richard are after. Estelle and Joshua, I have a bit of an idea. Could I get you to return here once the dinner party is over? Why? Have you thought of a way for us to see Her Majesty? I believe I have. It may be difficult, but I think it's worth a try. I'm going to need some time to get ready, so can you come back after the dinner party? Awesome! Understood. We'll be back then. I'll be waiting. Food prep is done, so I think we'll begin serving shortly. For now, it's probably best if you wait in your room. And... Well, we're done exploring for now then, I guess. Hey guys, talk about being late. The party's about to start, you know. Sorry. We got so caught up in sightseeing that we lost track of time. Plus, we also talked to all of the mayors. Huh? Well, aren't we well connected? We're close friends with the mayors of Ro Mayor of Roland. Plus, we've met the other mayors in the course of our travels. Oh, I see. Uh, I guess your work as bracers has caused you to meet quite a few big shots. You two sure get around for junior bracers. <laughs> yeah, you might say that. Have you done any bracer assignments since we came to Grancel? You mean besides the ones he's done with us? I guess it's not all that different in other countries, right? Right. For a full-fledged bracer, nationality isn't an issue when it comes to your work. <coughs> the prelim fights and legal procedures at the embassy kept me too busy to get any actual work done, though. But hey, there are four other bracers on duty, too, which isn't so bad. Normally, that would be enough to handle most cases, I'd imagine. But with all of them concentrated in Grenzel, that must make it tough to handle any cases in other regions. Haha, <laughs> yeah, could be. Uh, I feel like a goose just walked over my grave. I wonder what's going on with Shara back in Roland. Now that name rings a bell. You wouldn't have been talking about Shara's art, would you? Uh, hang on a sec.
Okay. You know her? She's our mentor, and she's been a close friend for ages. Oh, okay. Makes sense. I met her a long time ago when a case brought her to Calvert. She is fortunate to have a good master working with her from such a young age. Her master? Yeah, probably dad. Please pardon me. The table for the dinner party has been set. May I show you the way? Sure, I was getting bored with waiting anyhow. Alright, wanna go and eat fancy? Sure, that fight left me starving. Let's go dig in! Come on, you two. It would be nice if you two didn't completely forget your table merits for once. Um, uh, this is a dinner party, right? What's with all the empty plates, then? Plenty of knives and forks, though. That's because it's a formal dinner. Everything comes out in a specific order, starting with hors d'oeuvres. Then you use the knives and forks from the outside in. And that's all part of having good table manners? And here comes the anxiety attack. <laughs> it's really not so bad. It does mean that you get to have some of the finest food available. Manners and etiquette are secondary. Indeed, indeed. I'm told that you've acquaint that you've you're acquainted with everyone who'll be attending. No need to get stressed out. Yeah, I guess that's true. Please don't encourage her. On that note, is the gentleman accompanying you going to be okay with a knife and fork? I'm told that folks from the east use to eat with chopsticks. Oh, well, that's nice of her. You've done your research. However, I'm a firm believer in when in liberal, do as the librarians do policy. Uh, I'm not especially skilled with them, but I will use a knife and fork. My, how elegantly handled. I'm impressed. You're as much a gentleman as you are a martial arts champion. Ha ha ha, you flatter me. Boy, he really is a complete sucker for a pretty face. I think he's more being polite than a lech, though. Anyway, his grace is really late. I wonder what he's up to. Hmm, indeed. If so, if the seat at head of, at head of the table is for the duke, then who might that other one be for? Indeed. Perhaps it is intended for Princess Claudia. Your attention, ladies and gentlemen. My humblest apologies for the long delay. Presenting His Grace the Duke. Well, then, I must apologize for making you wait so. I'm afraid that I was at a meeting from which I simply could not break away. This gentleman is Colonel Richard, Commanding Officer, the Royal Intelligence Division. I've invited him here to thank him for his tireless efforts in helping to deal with the terrorist situation. It was a pleasure to meet you all. It was quite grata I was quite gratified to be invited to this occasion by our Honorable Duke. I ask that you pardon my uncouth soldier's uniform and allow me to sit with you. Can't be that. Can't look that bad. <laughs> you gotta be kidding. We're having dinner with him? I suspected this might happen, but it's still unnerving. Ha ha ha! Excellent, excellent! What say you, Maya Maybell? What do you think of Grand Soul Castle's master chef? Is his cooking not on par with that found in Bose's Antero's re Antero's restaurant? Yes, it's quite remarkable. The wine selection also perfectly complements the meal. I almost want to try hiring him away. Ha ha ha! You are not the first to say such things! And what of you, Zin, wasn't it? Is the food to your liking? Oh, it's excellent. I don't have the words to describe the sense of refinement and depth. I certainly believe I could develop a real taste for librarian cuisine, though. Good, good. I'm glad to hear it. And you, young braces? I imagine you've never experienced such fine food in your life before. It's extremely delicious. Far more worthy of being associated with the royal family than the person who invited us. 
Ouch. Ha ha ha, indeed, it is a genuine treat. Hmm. It, it's certainly delicious food. <laughs> Estelle, don't ruin it. And we couldn't miss a chance to attend so prestigious an event as this. Thank you very much for your gracious invitation. Ha ha ha, very kind of you to say so. I do finally remember what my butler had been telling me about. We met before during the Ruan incident. Perhaps our fates are linked in some bizarre fashion. Uh, we'll find out in the next game. Or next chapter, rather. Y yes sir. Maybe so. So he'd forgotten all about us until his butler reminded him. Come, let us put social classes and ranks aside for the evening. Food is abundant and the wine flows freely. So enjoy to your heart's content. Are Estelle and Joshua drinking wine too? Your Grace, if we could, I'd like to do what we discussed first. Oh yes, that's a fine idea. Actually, I have something important to say to you fine folk who represent the kingdom. I use this celebration as the place to make an important announcement. An announcement? And what might that be? Hmm. I believe I will allow Colonel Richard to explain in detail. Thank you. As you are no doubt already aware, Her Majesty has been in poor health of late. However, she has been recovering and may grace us with a public appearance soon. Oh, that's excellent news! Could we possibly go and check in on her? Unfortunately, she does not consider that to be a wise decision at the moment. For within a few days, it seems likely that the terrors plaguing the kingdom will be swept away. In light of that, the Queen's birthday celebration will be held, as originally planned. Hmm, well, the citizens will certainly surely be happy to hear this news, as they have been looking forward to it. But surely that is not all you wish to tell us. Right, if that were all, you could, could have just sent along a message. Haha, <laughs> indeed, you are correct. Her Majesty has continued to recover, as was previously stated. However, given the gravity of her condition, she also issued a proclamation. Due to her tenuous health, she has stated that she wishes to abdicate the throne and turn over royal authority to her nephew, Duke Dunan. Oh boy. What? what? Is this true? Joshua, this is... Yeah, the conspiracy finally makes its appearance. I was surprised when Her Majesty first broached the subject as well, but her illness has left her quite frail. But it is only natural. She has ruled the kingdom for 40 years, leading it through times of strife and war. All without a husband, might I add. Given that, I wish to relieve her of the stress of her duties following the festival's successful conclusion. As the heir to the throne, the decisions are mine to make. How terrible. Is Her Majesty's condition truly that severe? I'm ashamed that I've never noticed any signs in any of my annual visits. Isn't... Isn't this far too serious a matter to discuss at what is supposedly a casual dinner? Pardon my rudeness, but this all seems to stretch credu credula credulity. Hmm. Mayor Mabel, are you saying that you cannot f take his grace at his word? N no, nothing of the sort. I simply mean that, as an elected official, I don't understand why the successor to the throne can't be elected in the same fashion. That's uh, true. If possible, I'd like to hear this directly from Her Majesty. Uh -huh. Your unease is quite understandable. But we do ask that you try to maintain your composure and allow us to continue. As mentioned earlier, I believe Her Majesty will give a formal announcement herself during the festival. Could you be persuaded to shelve your thoughts until then? Well, the issue is basically this. Once this becomes public knowledge, we cannot know how the citizens will react. This is why we're telling the leaders first, to help stave off any chaos or public disorder before it happens. This is also the decision of his grace. Ahem, well, yes, this is true. Also, the Queen's abdication of the throne will have international repercussions. The other nations on the continent will have their eyes on us, and we must be watchful for any action on the part of the Erebonians. 
Surely you can see why it is necessary to show unified support for the new king. This is the world in which we are going to be living. He makes it all sound so rational. Yeah, he's quite the master manipulator. In other words, the official decree will be given during the birthday celebrations. But you thought it would be best to inform us first so that we could be prepared for any issues that may arise, correct? Haha, <laughs> I'm glad to see that we have an understanding. Hmm. If this all comes to pass, we're going to find ourselves quite busy. Yes, and we'll have to s announce it to the citizens. I have a question. I believe that the Duke has a fair claim to the throne. However, is there not another who also has the same right of succession? Well, well no doubt you're referring to Her Majesty's granddaughter, Princess Claudia. It is true that she and His Grace have an equal claim to the throne. But it would appear that Her Majesty did not choose her due to her tender age. And I must say, I agree with her wisdom in this matter. I should hardly like to impose such responsibility upon a girl so young. Yes, yes, absolutely. For the time being, I believe it would be best for Claudia to find a f fine marriage prospect. Though it is strictly informal, there is already interest from the royal families of a number of other nations. Perhaps a royal wedding could take place as soon as this year. Oh my. Hmm, I understand. If that happens, then we'll have two major events to celebrate. Hmm. I honestly think she's a bit young for marriage. Excuse me, may I ask a question? S sin Hmm? I don't mind. Speak freely. Sorry to seem rude, but this doesn't sound like the kind of conversation you'd want outsiders here. Particularly a foreigner. So, how come you're making this announcement now? That is solely because of the seri serendipitous, serendipitous turn of events that allowed Braces to win the championship. We had wanted to inform the guild of this in advance as well. I have already discussed the idea with Her Majesty. Gotcha. I guess Libro's military and Braces are just on as good of terms as the stories say. Haha, <laughs> that is because we lack the military strength of the Empire of the Republic. The harsh reality is that keeping close relations with each other is a must. In any event, do you now understand our intentions? Hmm, yeah, alright. Or rather, you didn't choose her. Yeah. We'll pass on what we've learned here to the guild, then. Man, I've heard some pretty unbelievable conversations in my time, but that was something else. I mean, I'm a foreigner, after all, so it's not that big of a deal for me. I bet that was huge news for you guys, though. Oh, of course it was! I can't believe things have gone this far already! Huh? Er, uh, n never mind. But really, what a shame. That food was so amazing and it practically melted the mouth. Couldn't tell what that last flavor was, though. <laughs> understandable enough. But anyway, did you want to go for a walk to work off some of that rich food, Estelle? Huh? Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, I could go for a little bit of fresh air. <sighs> you just played tourist a little while ago and now you want to take an after-dinner walk? I sure don't get it. Must be a local thing. Haha, <laughs> I think you're exaggerating a little bit. You haven't gone out to take in the sights? There is a lot of historic architecture around here, you know. If the mood hits me, I may still give it a shot. On the other hand, the kitchen may still have some food left over. You gotta be kidding. You're still hungry? If you had a blade to my throat, my dying wish would be for some liquor and a snack. I might go and hunt up a bar or something in a little bit. Okay, I feel like this is probably a good time to end the stream for the night. So, I hope you all enjoyed it. And, as always, you can follow my YouTube channel link below to see my past streams. As well as my Twitter account to be notified when I go live or further announcements. And... I will be back tomorrow night to continue playing Fire Emblem Warriors Three Hopes, so hopefully I will so I will see you then. 
Have a nice night, Luna. You too, Soup. Thanks for joining, tuning in. And if you stick around, we will drop a host. Uh, let's see. Who are we gonna host tonight? Um, let's see. Uh, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and host uh, Luna Topaz, who's playing Deep Rock Galactic. So I hope you stick around for that, and I hope y'all have a great night. I'll see you tomorrow. Take care, everyone. Bye.